So in this video here, we're just looking at the most simple situation in the front corner. We have a very easy feed for the player to move from the tee into that area and put the straight drop in. And really the purpose of this first phase is to just give the player an opportunity to just move how they would naturally move to the ball. So I'm not asking for any particular foot pattern and I'm not even gonna be talking about the quality of the drop shot. This is just an opportunity for me as a coach, but also the player to just find a bit of a rhythm and for us both to sort of see naturally how things move into that area, which feet comes first, what the pattern is from the tee through to the corner. As we get um, further into this feed, what will be uh, more and more evident are any limitations or constraints in that movement pattern from, from my view. You know, so I'm looking to see, is this effective? Is this easy for the player? And at this stage, what will be the next part of the process to help this become more effective? So Sean's moving in and out to the front corners here to put in his drop shots. As you can see in this front forehand, the majority of the time he's favoring landing on the left foot, which is absolutely fine. And for him, that's his natural pattern. I could feed exactly the same routine with a different player and it could be the right foot that's landing um, the majority of the time. And this happens very regular, regularly within uh, coaching sessions. 